Because <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck Batman. Dude. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, he, he's, he's pissed off. You know, he's kind of uh, he, he's trying to break out and do his own thing. He's fighting crime on his own. You know, he doesn't he doesn't need Batman. And, um, these particular bad guys are looking out for Batman. They're scared about Batman, not Robin. So he decides to, you know, teach him a lesson and tell the town that, you know, you don't need to be scared of Batman. You need to be scared of Robin. And um, that's kind of the tone of that, you know, the underlying meaning of that word, mm -hmm. those words. But also, it gives us an idea of the show is kind of about Robin, you know, going out on his own and becoming someone else. Mm -hmm. um, trying to break away from that Batman and Robin connection and so it's kind of a you know a little hint to where the show's going to take us. Where's so, Dick going over the course of this season? How is he involved in change? He basically is trying to break away from fighting like an animal you know fighting in that brutal ferocious um, way in which Batman taught him which he doesn't agree with and he's, he's breaking he's trying to leave that behind um, kind of like breaking an addiction, you know, he, he's, a, he's addicted, when he's fighting, he, he loves it, he's, you know, he's kind of, uh, that thing that he just has to do, you know, he kind of, he can't break away from it, so we see that struggle with him, trying to leave that behind, and create a, a new identity, a new path, um, which the Titans kind of help him do once they all connect together. So what you're saying about Robin kind of trying to become his, or Grayson rather, trying to become his own person, will we see by the end of this season him completely leave the Robin persona and completely become Nightwing, maybe even suit up as Nightwing by the end of this first season? You may see it. You may see that. <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> Be ready. It, it, it goes in and out, you know. He, it's not something that he just def definitely does. It's a... Uh, it's a decision that kind of he, he's sitting on the fence with for a long time, and we see him kind of uh, relapse in a way and put the suit on and just get into it. And the next day, kind of just go, I shouldn't have done that. Right. You know what? Now I'm done. Like that kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. um, and so by the end of the series, we do get a feeling that okay, Dick's he's done with that now. Um, but in terms of becoming something else, I can't say. No, because I mean, I just imagine after seeing Jason Todd as Robin, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, you know what, maybe it's time for me to completely leave the persona of Robin. There's a new new kid in town, uh, so maybe it's time to step out of the shadows and become someone else. That's exactly so. what it is, and that's where it is in the series. Right, uh, it's going to have to be the last question, guys. Sorry. Sorry, yes. Will we get backstory as to why Grayson has Tim Drake's staff? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Jeff Jones. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I heard that. I heard that. Um, I thought it was my god to use that. You know, I think it's just a classic tool that Robin has been fighting with, you know, in, in the movies and in the comic books for so long. Um, so I don't think it's, I, I don't think, I may be wrong, I don't think it's anything connected to the reasons as to why he has Tim Drake's stuff. Um, I think it's just a tool that he has found that he's good, you know, good at using for a long time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, guys.